The official tail end of winter has hit some regions especially hard. We've seen massive flooding in California. A nor'easter brought big snowstorms to the northeastern U.S. But beyond all of the weather, there's been a lot to talk about in the world of agriculture. My name is Ryan Tips. I'm the managing editor for AgDaily.com, and let's dive right into the news. The state of Minnesota is being sued over its adoption of California's zero emissions mandate. And the Minnesota Soybean Growers Association is at the forefront leading the charge against that new mandate. The lawsuit contends that the Federal Energy Policy and Conservation Act, which creates a uniform national standard for vehicle fuel efficiency, prohibits states from adopting policies related to federal fuel economy standards. The EPCA says that a state or political subdivision of a state cannot adopt or enforce a law or regulation related to fuel economy standards. On top of that, the suit calls out Congress for giving California special privileges, let's say, and giving them the ability to have their own emission standards that are different from those set by the U.S. federal government. It's tough to escape talk of the Farm Bill this year, and one of the areas that's being covered by a new subcommittee is forestry. The formation of the new House Committee on Agriculture Subcommittee on Forestry highlights a growing need to focus more on forestry management, as wildfires in the West have grown increasingly worse over the past years. And the importance of this title is apparent in the Farm Bill. The subcommittee met recently and heard from stakeholders on how funding could help rural communities and forest products. Why is this so vital? Well, since the year 2000, about 70,000 wildfires have happened each year, burning more than 7 million acres annually. Hey all, did you remember that earlier this week it was National Potato Chip Day? That's right. What's cool is that the USDA's Agricultural Research Service works hard to research varieties of chipping potatoes. And a very promising one is known as a13125-3C. Yeah, I know, it just rolls right off the tongue. But this one has done well in Idaho and in national chip processing trials. It could be a replacement for the Atlantic potato, which is vulnerable to internal heat necrosis. So the next time you reach for a bag of chips, know that there's a lot of research that goes into finding just the right variety. Well, for all the news that has happened in the world of agriculture, there's one big thing that hasn't, and it's got us all on pins and needles. That's the Prop 12 decision from the U.S. Supreme Court. Proposition 12 is the California law that would dictate how certain animals would have to be raised in order for the products of those animals to be sold in the state of California. Arguments were heard last fall, and a decision was actually expected by the end of February. But here we are, middle of March, and nothing. Radio silence. So keep your ears open. I'm hoping that we'll hear a decision any day now, but nobody really knows. There's just a lot of speculation. Well, that's everything that we have for this week on Ag Daily and our New Ground video series. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope that everybody stays safe out there.